was the regional minister, Kwabna Ochoa, Kumensa, seeking a fifth term in parliament. For the first time, he's facing a strong contender, Frederick Kakabra Sam Inkum, a businessman and a former youth organizer of the Takrade constituency. Speaking to City News after filing his nomination form bought by some market women, Frederick Kakaba Sam Inkum said his disqualification during the last primaries was based on falsehood spread by his contenders. Western Regional Correspondent Kwesi Ej Enim has the details. The Takrade constituency seat has for the past 15 years been occupied by the Western Regional Minister Kwabena Oshodako Mensa after the departure of Gladys Asma in 2008. Frederick Akraba Sam Inkum, a businessman and a former youth organizer of the Takrade constituency's attempt in 2020 to end the reigns of incumbent Kobi Ochidako Mensa, was unsuccessful due to a disqualification by the party. Four years on, Frederick Akraba Sam Inkum, together with his enthusiastic supporters, arrived at the Takrade MPP constituency office amidst dancing and singing to file his nomination form. After presenting his forms, allegedly bought by market women, the Takrade MPP constituency secretary, Imano Tokunu, said he has satisfied all requirements. Speaking to City News, Frederick Agraba Sam Inkum described his disqualification in 2020 as unfortunate but has returned to give the regional minister a showdown in a fair primaries. Last four years, I think that whatever happened was. Whether fair or unfair, I think that we moved on. And uh, this is uh, another chance to throw my heart in the ring. Some supporters of Kakraba Sam, who spoke to State News, warned the party not to disqualify him if they want to break the eight. Fred is a person, uh, he's a, a someone who can change that credit. He's a someone who loves people. Eh? If anything, you, you call him, he will come. If anything, who supports you? Fred is not a new person in Takrade constituency. He has been a polling station executive for two times. He has been a constituency youth organizer. And last four years, he filed. And there was some, I, knew, I would say, a mafia, mafia tactics from the incumbent. I was then a first vice with one of those people that we disagree with that thing that it happened. But this time, if you really want to break the eight and all these things happen again, it's going to cost us. We are all here to give a massive support to Kakraba Fred. We are supporting, I personally am supporting Kakra because I want a positive change. Takrade, the face of Takrade uh, within the political face needs a change. A change that will bring effective leadership, not deceive, deceive, uh, divided type of rule, like uh, divide and rule tactics. I know Kakaba very, very well, and he, he, he's somebody who is uh, truthful, who is uh, very effective. Whatever, whatever problem you come to him with, he, he makes sure, he makes sure he solves it for you. He doesn't ask you to go and then uh, uh, look for some information from somebody before and bring it before he will give you a job or something. This is what is happening in Takrade here. This is what is happening. With the support that we have seen here at the MPP Takrade constituency office shows that the aspirant has a chance. But what the aspirant is basically asking for is a chance to actually go into this competition to face off with the regional minister. For City News, I'm Akwesia Jenim. Talk right.